Guys, guys, the Orlando Magic. Mmm. I gotta love Red Bull at 11 p.m. at night. Now, Markel Fultz, believe it or not, he's hit the most threes of his career basically this year. He's shooting at 36%. You guys know I love me some Markel Fultz. Tonight, let's shout out all the boys. Paulo Bancata had 25 points, 7 assists, and 8 rebounds. The duo between Paulo Bancata and Markel Fultz. Fultz had 13 points, 1 block, 1 steal, 4 assists. Six rebounds, went five for eight from the field. Gary Harris had 18, 13 from Wendell Carter Jr. Caleb Houston with 11, 10 from Mo Bamba. RJ Hampton had 12. And also, RJ Hampton, are they starting to use him as a wing? Gary Harris had 18, 18 from Terrence Ross. Guys, who could be on the block. And then Paul Anthony, six assists with eight, six points. Now, they got that in a win. And. Over the Thunder, obviously, but look, this is their first one in 2023. And the Magic are a team that they're focusing on rebuilding, but Markel Fultz is a guy that I think people need to take more and more notice of because Markel is having a good year. Markel hasn't been bad through 16 games so far, 11.3 points. 45% from the field. Yeah, I know last year in 20 minutes a night, he averaged 10.8 points. But still, and in you know the eight games he played in 2020 in the same amount of time, he was averaging 13 points. Whatever. He's still, you know, he's coming back. Shooting 36% from three. Four rebounds a night, which is a career high. 5.3 assists. 1.6 steals a night, which is a career high. And then 0.3 blocks. But I know he shot like only 30, like 26 threes or 33s, but Markel. It's figuring it out. And I think this is just something that we're starting to see a guy who has skill, can be a good player. And his true shooting's up 51%, which is a little bit below league average. But we're, I think we're just seeing the right things. And if you look over in the month of... December through 15 games, he was averaging 11 and a half points with those five and a half assists. It's just you're seeing a guy who's basically averaging, you know, like 12 points, five, five, and that one and a half. And that isn't bad. And for me, I think it all comes down to him getting more confidence and the ability of him to play next to Paulo Bancaro is huge in camp. I don't think there's any way to understate how important is it for them to, to gel. So my thoughts are, what do you guys expect from this team as we get further and further into the season? But for me, I just, every day, Markel Fultz getting better and better. Who doesn't want to see a former number one overall pick up success? I think the only number one overall pick that people have beef with or gripe with is Anthony Bennett, but that's for better or for worse baby and at the end of the day the idea of Franz Wagner Wendell Carter Jr. Paulo Caro, Chumo KK whoever they keep out the other guys Mo Bamba Bull Bull all those guys playing next to Markel and even if they don't keep Markel in the long term and I hope they do he's their only true point guard on this team so far with Jalen Suggs and being out the window and RJ Hampton on his way out. I think it is in our best interest to go with him, but he is a good trade chip if we do want to move on from him. But I think we're a team a year away from being a decent playoff team. So time will tell what this squad does for better, for worse. The Orlando Magic are a fun team to watch on any given night. And I think Markel is a big part of that. And I think a lot, I want a Markel Folds jersey. I'm going to get myself an Orlando Magic Markel Folds jersey because I think that'd be cool. Wouldn't you guys think? Someone's going to tell me I'm a buffoon, but you're a buffoon if I had to say show myself if you don't think that would be cool. Okay. And uh, so let me hear your thoughts down below. Markel Folds, three point shot. 
whatever, you know. Also, you guys forgot that they had four players suspended tonight due to the fact that of the fight from the other night. So it's pretty funny. It was Franz Wagner, Kevon Harris, and Admiral Schofield, and Mo Wagner. And Bull Bull missed because of health and safety. But, hey, the Bull will be back soon enough. Soon enough. And, look, I love Markel Foltz. He had a good 13, was it? Yeah, 13. Correct me if I'm wrong. 13 points with 4 assists and 6 rebounds. Alright, goodbye everybody.